Okay, I just have one last piece. Okay, and... No! Ah. I worked so hard and I can't finish it. Puzzle piece. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Captain Alyssa here. We just got a new postcard. Let's check it out. Dear Connect HQ, what is hope in God? Is it the same as making a wish or having a good attitude? From Chloe. Chloe, hope in God is more than making wishes or being positive. This reminds me of a time our friend Nolan visited Connect HQ. Here, let me show you. Uh, yeah, sorry. Go fish! Ha <laughs> ha! Do you have any sevens? <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I thought playing a game would help distract you from, you know. From my band not getting into the talent show after you spent hours and hours practicing? Yeah, yeah, that, that. Maybe we should try something else to cheer you up. I don't know, Mike. I don't think anything's gonna help. Well, if you put that attitude, maybe not, but I mean, we haven't tried everything. There's a lot to try. Hey guys. Hey. I have someone I want to introduce to you. This is Nolan. Hey Nolan, I'm Mike and this is Jaden. Nolan came in with a problem and I just knew that you two would be perfect for the job. All right, perfect. Let's see, Nolan, what's going on? Well, I've been dreaming of having my own puppy for as long as I can remember. Which is understandable, puppies are awesome. I know, right? <laughs> so, what's the problem? Well. Uh, my parents said that I can only get a puppy once I show that I'm responsible enough to have one. Oh, well, that's fair. So, what are you doing to work towards getting a puppy? Oh, so, so, so much. Every day, I spend hours imagining our future together. Going on walks, playing fetch. Oh, so, so many adventures. You know what? I understand why you're so excited about getting a puppy, and it's fair. It's a puppy. Come on. I mean, right? But dreaming about getting a puppy and actually hoping for a puppy are two different things. What do you mean? Hope is more powerful than just wishing for good things to happen. It encourages us to do things to make the future better. Hope helps me do hard work. Hope helps me do hard work. Wow, I've never thought of hope that way. Well, if hope will help me do the hard work to get my puppy, I'm ready. And I think we can help you. Here, follow me. All right, Nolan, are you ready to do some hopeful hard work? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. You're gonna write down your answers. Are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Question number one, why do you want a puppy? Uh, because puppies are the best. Absolutely, write that down. Now, question number two, how will you take care of your puppy? Uh, I'll give it food mm -hmm. and water mm -hmm. and take it on walks and give it baths, everything. Perfect answer, write that down. Question number three, and it's a harder question. How can you show your parents that you're ready to take care of a puppy right now? Right now? Mm -hmm. What, I don't have a puppy now. Uh, how can I show my parents that I'm ready to take care of a puppy when I don't have a puppy? Well, do you have chores at home now? Have you spent time around other dogs? Do you take walks outside now, or is that something you're gonna have to get used to? Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. have you even thought of a name for your puppy, or, or what kind of food you're gonna give your puppy, or the treats you're gonna give your puppy? Do you even know how to train a puppy? Um, Are you prepared to go through all of that stress and all of that time? Do you understand how much responsibility it is and how much you will be doing and how much you will be taking care of a puppy and then just to find out that you're being Jaden, 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 Jaden. <laughs> yeah, um, you, we've given Nolan a lot to think about. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <clears throat> How are you doing there, buddy? A little overwhelmed. Yeah, I, I just need some time, you know, some time to think. Mm -hmm. 
and, you know, cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys brought up a lot of good questions, you know? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Thank you. Well, take all the time you need to think about it. You can hang out here. Uh, uh, we're going to go see Captain Alyssa, Jade and I. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, guys. How's it going with Nolan? Oh, everything's going great with Nolan. Um, Jade, on the other hand. I got a little intense. And it's because I want Nolan to be prepared. I just didn't want him to be really disappointed like I am now. Huh? Yeah. What's going on? Mm. Go for it. <sighs> well, me and my band, we really were hoping to be picked for my school's talent show. I mean, really hoping. We put in extra practice time every day after school for weeks, but we didn't get picked. I'm sorry. That must be really hard after all the work you've put into it. It was. It, it is. Sometimes I wonder, why should I even try anymore? Hey, come on now. You put in a lot of hard work, and you're one of the best high school bands I've ever heard. How many high school bands have you heard of? Uh, not important. It's not I, important. I feel like that is important, mm -hmm. though. Jaden, bands, I... have you seen Roddy and Vanessa's new Skit Vision video? No. I think you should check it out. Rodney, are you okay? Okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Have you seen the cast list? Yes, we both made a musical! Isn't that exciting? <sighs> not really. I wanted to be the lead, Vanessa. The lead, not farmer number one. Oh. Yeah, I see. Do you know how hard I worked on that audition? I took singing lessons. I memorized my lines, which is rare. I even researched the time period. Wow. <sighs> you did work really hard, and I can absolutely see why you'd be disappointed. I mean, it was all for nothing. What was the point? Well, I wouldn't say it was all for nothing. You still learned and got better. Weren't you farmer number four last year? At least this year you have lines. Yeah, that's true. There have been times when I wanted to give up when something wasn't working out like I hoped it would. But I found a verse that really helps me. Can I show it to you? It goes like this. 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. Your strength to continue comes. Your strength to continue comes. From your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. From your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't have to give up when the going gets tough because we have hope in Jesus. No matter what disappointments may come our way, we know that He will never let us down. I'm gonna do my best to remember that. Now, do you wanna run lines? Because this baker number one needs her farmer number one. Well, let's go steady, little lady. All of us have gone through times where we felt like giving up. You're not alone in that, Jaden. But when we face setbacks or when we don't get the thing we've been hoping for, we can always find hope in Jesus. You're right. Thank you for reminding me of that, Captain Alyssa. And Mike, thank you for encouraging me to not give up on my goal. No problem. And listen, Jaden, your band is awesome. <laughs> You're gonna get into that show one of these days. Yeah, we'll keep working towards it. So now should we try and see how we can help Nolan? Absolutely, let's go for it. Okay, so how can I show my parents that I'm ready to train a puppy? Uncle Ryan has a dog. I bet I could talk to him about some training tips. Mm, I could check out a few books from the library on dog training as well. Perfect. Check that one off. <laughs> oh, hey, Captain Melissa. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, actually. I've gone through most of the questions that Mike and Jaden suggested, and I'm on a roll. I've got a list of chores that I can do to show my parents that I can take responsibility. That's a great idea. So, have you come up with a name for the puppy yet? Well, I was thinking to maybe name the puppy Hope. That way, I could remember what Hope actually means. Aw, oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey guys, what's all that stuff? Well, we know we gave you a lot to think about. <laughs> So we decided to gather a few things together to help you put hope into action. Okay, that would be awesome. You ready? Oh, yeah! All right, let's do it! <laughs> Time to learn how to take care of a puppy.
<laughs> What's next? Well, I think that's everything I can do here. You guys have helped me make so much progress towards my goal. Thank you. I, I really hope this all works out. I'll be so disappointed if it doesn't. Well, I, I know what it feels like to have that kind of disappointment, Nolan. And I just want you to know that even if things don't work out exactly the way you want them to, you can still have hope. Really? Absolutely. Actually, recently I saw a Bible story about having hope when disappointment happens. Do you guys want to watch it? Of course. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Did you know that God trains all of his kids? What? Really? That's right, and this training isn't easy. It can be pretty tough, kind of like lifting weights. But why? If we're God's kids, doesn't he want us to have fun? I'd rather sit around watching TV and eating cookies every day than lift weights. We could sit around and eat cookies, but here's the thing. God wants something better for us. If we only choose to do things that are fun and easy, that isn't healthy for our body, our mind, or our spirit. Hard training doesn't always feel good, but it helps us get stronger and ready for our future. Okay, okay. So, what does hard training look like? It can look like all sorts of things. Maybe your parents say you can't play video games for a week after you played when you weren't supposed to. Or you break your arm after jumping on your bed. Anytime you have a consequence after you do something wrong, that's training, and that can help you learn how to follow God in the future. God can also train us when we choose to learn from Jesus. When we spend time reading the Bible, praying, or worshiping God, that helps us follow God too. Doesn't all this training get tiring after a while? What happens if I get worn out and want to give up? That's a great question. Anytime you feel like you're not strong enough to keep going, all you need to do is look to Jesus. Really? How do I do that? Just think about the way he lived. Jesus worked hard because he had hope. He suffered and died on the cross because of the joy he was looking forward to, a future with all of us. He knew his suffering would heal our friendship with God. When we focus on Jesus and a future with him, we can have hope no matter what kind of training comes our way. Wow, that's amazing. The next time I have to do some hard training, I'm going to remember to look to Jesus and not to give up hope. You see, Jesus went through all kinds of tough times. I mean, he died on the cross, but he had faith in God's good plan. And no matter how tough things got, he had joy because he looked forward to a future with us. Yeah. And whenever we need strength to get through those tough times or through hard training, we can look to Jesus. The training that God allows us to go through doesn't always feel good, but it has a good purpose for your future. So even if I don't get my puppy, I can still be thankful for how God is training me and everything that he has in days to come. That's right. And I had to learn that lesson today too. Well, I better be getting home by now. I can't wait to show my parents all that I've learned. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. It was our pleasure. No problem. We're glad we could help. And let us know how it goes. Oh, you bet. And if you get that puppy, you're going to come back and visit, right? And show us the puppy, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, there you have it, Chloe. I hope you liked seeing Nolan's story. Do you remember the verse from Rodney and Vanessa's Skit Vision video? Why don't we say it together? It goes like this. 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. Your strength to continue comes from your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. When life gets hard, we can keep going because of the hope we have in Jesus. When Jesus lived on earth, He went through a lot of tough times. He even suffered and died on a cross. 
but he never lost hope because of how much he was looking forward to a future with us. And when God allows us to go through hard training, we can trust in the future he has planned for us too. Hope is so much more than wishful thinking. It's powerful, but it's also hard work. Nolan learned that if he wanted a puppy, he had to show his parents he was responsible enough to care for one. So anytime you start thinking about your hopes for the future, don't forget, hope helps me do hard work. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Do you have, do you have any eights? Uh, hey guys. <sighs> Hold on Alyssa, I'm just, I'm just not getting the hang of this and I just, I, 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 I think you'll want to put that on hold for this. Is, oh, is that? It's a. You, you brought your puppy? Oh. I told you I would. So cute. Everyone, meet Hope. It's so Hi, it's Hope. Alyssa, I know we've had this conversation a couple times. You've put, you've turned it down every single time, but don't we need an office dog? Look at her. Oh, we definitely Hi. need an office dog. Please. Yeah, because we're already so good at not letting ourselves get so easily distracted. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the guys went down to the basement to go find some toys for him. So I get this little guy all to myself. I love you. I lo oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay. Now see this. This is how we tell everybody about Jesus. You gotta just tap right here. And just tap, tap. He loves me. I love you too. No matter what your life may look like, good times or bad times, whether you're working toward a big or a small goal, you can find strength in Jesus. If you've never made the decision to make Jesus your leader and number one friend, you can do that today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, congratulations. Be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from the Connect Crew.